Hello YouTube. This is a tutorial video on the SD or sorry, VSDC video video editor. So, you probably want to know how to use this program. Well, I did see a couple other tutorials on YouTube. I thought they were great, but I didn't think they I did not think they went into as much detail as I wanted them to go into. So, first kicking off, let's open a new project. Let's call this default 1 and now you can do different resolutions you can do 10 1080p or 1920 by 1440 and 4 by 3 resolution don't know why you would probably usually want to stick with 1080p or 720p but the 720p is not an option so you have to do a custom resolution so I did a custom resolution of uh, 1280 by 720 I'm going to keep the frame rate the same frequently frequent well, frequency the same and channels stereo and then I'm going to import videos that I want to edit so we're in the wizard file wizard and we're going to add videos I'm just going to add three videos that I want to edit and then you can add transitions so between videos you can add different transitions that you want you can always add these later if you want to and if you're satisfied with that, the clips are ready to go, and you just needed transitions. You can hit apply, and then you can then you can export the video right there and then. So that doesn't happen in our case because we need to actually edit some of the clips. So you can actually, from here, right-click on a clip, hit cut and splice, and then cut out regions that you don't want in the video. So for instance, let's cut out the last 30 seconds. So we're going to start a selection, and this selection is going to be actually cut out of the clip because we don't want it. And to make it easy on ourselves, I'm just going to have just the rest of the clip deleted. So we're going to hit this. You can either skip by frame, skip by second, or skip by clip with these arrows. I'm going to end the selection and then cut the region. And then with playing the video, come on. Oops. I just added that again. and then the clip ends there. So we took out 30 seconds. It tells you we took um, from second 20 to second 52. We took that whole chunk out. Now let's say that you wanted to add that back in. So you select either, well, you can either have different selections being deleted. So you now you have selection two seconds from three seconds deleted. Now choose one of the files that you said, well, I kind of want to add two more seconds to the end of the video. So you choose that selection that you deleted. Now you're going to do restore region. Now you're going to restore it. And that's going to add back the actual, the whole ending back to the video. And then you can do the re-splicing re of the end of the video and cut out that section. So we added six more seconds from 30 to 36 and to the end of the video. Now we can apply changes and that's going to apply the changes to that clip. A different way we could do that I'm going to add this clip back in. A different way we could do that is apply changes and then add the video to your timeline. I'll scroll this up so you can see my timeline video a little smaller. Now on the left hand side in your timeline you're going to see sprite on the left hand side under layers. If you hit the sprite and then the sprite one you're going to see all your videos pop up. And this is where you're going to be doing the majority of the work. So let's just get right in. Let's click this video and we want to do the same thing as far as cutting and splicing. We're going to click this on the right hand side you'll see 
property window or you'll see a resource window either one and if you don't see either you'll go up to view and there will be property window or resource window and you can hit both of those on and we want the property window and halfway down you'll see cutting and splicing this is the exact same screen we saw before and you just do the same procedure if you want to start selection play it for a couple seconds and I want to cut out three seconds so I'm going to end selection cut region and then at the end of the video I want to start selection and then I want to just delete the rest of this section to the end of the video to apply changes and also a duration of the source video has been changed because we shortened the video we cut out some some pieces of it and we're gonna hit yes because it shortened the video now I want to overlay for instance another video on top of a, another video so you want for instance the audio from a video but you don't want that video to be seen so let's let's say this long video you want um, you just want to hear the audio on it. Now, if they're all from the same camera, it should be pretty easy. You're going to import the videos, and now you have these other two videos, which what I did on that first clip, I right-clicked and moved to bottom. And with these other clips, you can click and drag where you want them. And now you're going to see these other two clips rather than the bottom clip. So other, what, what other video clips that are on top of the bottom video clip aren't going to be seen, but they can be heard. So the bottom video clip, video 4, can be heard, but can't be seen. So how do I line up this other video to match up perfectly with the first video? Well, you hit the first video, or the video that you want it to line up with. And these six arrow keys, you can move by frame, by second, and by clip. And it move it to the end of the clip, and this is going to move the cursor. This is where all the action happens. That's where at that exact second, that exact frame, you're looking at that at that frame on your timeline. So at that frame or this exact frame, that ends the video that you have overlaying. So with the top video you want to line it up, you're going to click and drag it and bring it to the cursor until it locks in place. And now you don't have any overlay they meet up perfectly butt to butt. Alright, uh, let's say you want to um, you want the audio from video 4 but you don't want the audio on the other two videos. Well, you're going to go back to the property window and the last thing is going to be audio track. Now it will say audio track number 1 and you don't want to use audio, so don't use audio. Same thing with the other clip that's on top don't use audio. Alright, let's say that you want to have transitions. You, you go back and you say, well, you know, I didn't put transition at the beginning, but now I kind of want transitions. Those would look nice. So you can either um, click and drag over the two video files that you want to have transitions over, or you can hold down the control button and click the videos that you want to have transitions between. And you can do this with multiple videos. You can have up to, I think, eight videos that you want to add effects to at a time. And you're going to go up to the Editor tab, and then under the Video Effects, you're going to run Object Wizard. And with the two videos that you have selected, and with these two clips selected, you can add whatever transition that you want. Just click and drag to the arrow between the two clips, essentially the transition. On the right hand side is going to show you the transition and what it's going to look like. So you can hit apply settings and it's going to add that transition in between two video clips. You can see it changing right there between the two video clips. And if you want to preview anything, you can hit projects or scene and you can hit preview scene. The only grip that I have with this program is is that it's very choppy when you preview scenes. The only way the only way that you're going to actually see it smooth is through the uh, cutting and splicing. That's the only time where I've actually seen the video 
is not choppy or editing or um, exporting the video looking at the video and then um, adjust accordingly obviously um, you don't want to do that every time you want to look at a video um, so you kinda have to be um, pretty good with cutting and splicing <laughs> and doing it that way so I have roughly 19 seconds of clips and I want to export this but when I preview it and I hit pause I see this 10 out of a minute 30 well clearly my footage doesn't go to a minute and 30 seconds so it's going to just say black how do I change that well this little white arrow right here you see it's at a minute 30 I drag that all the way down here to the end of the clip and you see how it resized everything back to proportion it's at 19 seconds and 8, 80 mill, milliseconds and now if you do preview scene and pause it it's now um, 10 seconds out of 19 so that is good we have there's not a whole bunch of um, black video after 19 seconds so it's not a waste alright so after we've done that um, I want to add more video let's say that you want to add more video you said well these two videos aren't covering up the whole bottom video and I want that to be covered okay so you can either do it one of two ways actually one of four ways but I'll show you two ways of doing it um, that are the easiest you can either do it on the right hand side it's going to be under the resource window and you can right click on the video and add videos add more videos that way or on the left hand side with this toolbar that has your arrow your add sprites, add lines, add rectangles, add eclipse, um, sorry, ellipse, right? Ellipse, sorry. Um, and then you can add images, sound, or video, and you can add it that way. So, either way works. Let's say I want to add that video clip. So, adding that video clip, um, you won't initially see it, so you need a on the screen where your video is you need to click and drag and now the video has been added so even if you mess up on that and you make the and you make the image too small and it's over here that's not a problem also under your resource window that video file popped up over here so either way it's going to show up in your resource resource window and it'll also show up in your properties window and your object explorer window video 6 alright sprite and then sprite 1 to get back to my timeline and my video happens to be off the frame now how do I fix that? well click on the video that you just added which is going to be video 6 and you're going to go over to your property window and under coordinates are going to be left right width height and you're going to resize the parent size now that's going to resize it to whatever the parent which is the file you wanted to export it we initially had it 720 by 1080 sorry um, 1280 by 720 there we go so now we can be seen we, we can see this clip this clip is really lengthy I'm cut it down here I'm going to move this white tab to make the video clip longer. And now, this top clip that I added is blocking this video too. Well, I don't want that. So I'm going to right click the video clip, move, move it down. Alright. Now I can see this top clip and also video 3 top clip. So these two clips are on top of the bottom clip. right click this video or click on this video go to property window because I don't want to hear that track I just want to see the video scale it down this is just cutting the last so many seconds of this video scroll this white arrow on the bottom to, mat to meet up with the ending of the clips so 
when I export the clip, it's not going to be 12 minutes long with 11 minutes of nothing. Alright, so we add another video clip after the fact. So you don't have to have that wizard and add everything at one time. It can be actually, if you add too long of a clip, it can crash the program or um, take a really long time. So, Alright, now we want to add, let's say, an image. So we go to the left side, add image, or like I said, on the right hand side, we do resource window, images, right click, add images. So I'm going to do on my documents, I'm going to do the benchmark right here. Add this to the window. And you have to click and drag on the window to make it whatever resolution you want it to be. Image. That image go. Okay, that image actually is right here. It was so tiny, so tiny. That's what she said. Okay, so I'm gonna expand that image and you can see that I'll say Phenom X4. That's my computer specs. Okay, so I want to meet this. I want to make that full screen. So I hit that image. We're going to go into properties, window properties, resize apparent, and boom. It is the full screen. Let's say we want to add that to the end of the video. Okay, we added that. Now let's add some music. So I'm going to hit this music note, or like I said, sounds, right click, add sounds. And I'm going to go to my music folder. Let's say this song, I'll add this song to it. And you can, this is a really long song. Okay, I'm going to cut that down. And we're going to right click. And we're going to move this. Actually, there's a sound layer right here, so it can make it all the way throughout this whole video. Now we have sound. They're pretty easy. Not too bad. Or you can you can choose um, under the property window, cutting and splicing. And if you want to cut out some some of the song, you can do that. Um, you can use this timer if you want, or you can just hit play. And then start selection. Play for a little while. End selection. And then cut out regions you don't want. And I'll say the duration of the source audio video, or the audio, has, has been changed. And say yes to it because it has been changed. All right. So now we have that. We have a song in there. And we've overlaid video on top of other video. We've added video, we've added songs, we've added images. Uh oh, the image got shrunk a little bit. Now we want, we're finished, we like it if we want to export it. So in projects, on the top tab, we want to go to export project. Now initially when we set that resolution, that's going to be what we export our file as. Now this will be probably hidden. It will say show information. And this is going to be the specs of the video that's going to be um, sent out of the project. So it's going to be 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. The bit rate is 1200 kilobits per second. It's an MPEG-4 video. And then this gives you the audio, MP3, 128 kilobits per second, stereo. And that will tell you the duration. Now you can either do it on your PC, do it onto a, a DVD, or encode it to an iPod, which is the same thing as an MOV file, or a QuickTime MP4.8 
h sorry h.264 the encoding of the file I like the encoding of the h.264 because it is easily uploaded to YouTube and that's the easiest format to upload they can take other formats such as AVI, MPEG I think Windows I'm not sure but movie files or MOV files are usually the easiest now you can change the name to whatever you want default or um, I'm going to have a default one I've already have a default video in there and now we're going to do convert file so after your video has been converted it'll say conversion is completed wherever you save that file exit that and now where did I put that video file? default one wonderful and that is how you use VSDC video, video editor if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below but I hope you learned something today, and uh, I'll see you next time.